Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and in this video, we're going to be doing the scariest thing that you will ever do building a computer. Installing the hard drive. Okay, actually, I lied a little bit. It's like maybe the fourth or fifth scariest thing. Actually, it's incredibly easy. I'm a bad liar. So, because this is so easy to do, I actually kind of have to throw some banter here at the beginning, just so this video doesn't look stupidly short. But all you have here on your hard drive is two connectors, okay? You have a serial ATA power connector and a serial A... Whoa, I did that backwards. A serial ATA data connector and a serial ATA power connector, okay? Those connectors need to be facing towards your motherboard, okay? And just slide it right in there. Usually... If you slide it in with the connectors face down, I don't know if you can see that, can you see that? Connectors face down. The connectors are face down and you slide it in there, usually your holes right here on the side will line up just right. And there they are. Got one back here and one up here, okay? Then go ahead and take your screws. I got two of the screws that came with the actual case. They're just Phillips head screws and just go ahead and screw those on there. And if you want to be meticulous about it, some people like to be meticulous about it, you can install those on the back as well. I probably tightened the first one too much. I did. Let's go ahead and tighten this one. Come on, you can do it. Wow. Wow! I've been doing this a long time. Can you tell? Okay, we got it on there. Now, on your motherboard, you have these little connectors here. You see those? What does that look like? It looks just like your hard drive serial ATA data connector. Well, fortunately, your motherboard also included serial ATA data cables. Okay? Both connectors on both sides are identical. So, You'll just connect one side into the, it only goes in one place and only fits in one way. Connect one side to your drive. And usually I like to connect it to, these are all labeled. I usually like to connect it to the lowest number because it's usually the fastest. This one's white, so that's a serial ATA six gigabyte. But even if your drive's only a four gigabyte, it'll still support it. So you've actually officially installed your hard drive. Now I haven't installed the power yet, but that's because the power supply isn't yet in this motherboard. But the power supply will have a connector like that serial ATA power connector, and you'll just plug it right in. Now, hopefully your power supply has it. If it doesn't, hang on, I got one around here somewhere. Hang on. Where'd that adapter go? You have a four pin, dang it. They're gonna make a liar out of me. Well, you'll have a four pin connector that looks similar to this one, and it will convert it into a serial ATA power connector. So that's all there is to this video. That's how you install a hard drive. Then when you boot up your computer, Windows will detect it automatically. If you're installing Windows for the first time and you go to install your actual CD from the CD, it'll detect the drive right when you go into your Windows installation. So, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. As always, you can follow me on all the major social networks, and I will see you guys in the next video, which hopefully won't be nearly as awkward.